<laughs> like a hedgehog who just got out of bed. Hey everybody! I have got some stuff to talk about. Not in like a bad way or anything like that, it's just uh, there's some things I've been meaning to mention and I just haven't because I've been busy and forgot and yeah. Uh, first and foremost, because I keep forgetting to mention this and I forgot to mention it in the last vlog video and I just, nah, is there's a Discord server now. Uh, a couple of people have actually noticed it and uh, have joined up and were kind of confused because it's a complete wasteland because I haven't mentioned that there is a Discord server. <laughs> so, yeah, um, there's a Discord server now. You can find a link for that in the description. It's also in the description of most of the... I want to say like the last maybe five or six videos. I just kind of slipped it in there and didn't say anything because my plan was to put it in there, have it ready to go for future videos, and then put up a vlog talking about it, and I just never did. So it's been up for like almost a month now. <laughs> and yeah, uh, sorry. But if you are interested in checking that out, you can check it out. And again, description, link, all that stuff. Uh, it's not a whole lot happening right now just because I just set it up. But, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. I kind of set it up because I wasn't sure what was going to happen with this whole FTC thing. And then once it got clarified, I was like, eh, I'll, I'll keep it up. Just why not? But I will say, uh, before anyone jumps into the Discord server, crappy behavior of any kind will not be tolerated. If I see any forms of legit bigotry, legit sexism, any of that stuff, like transphobia, homophobia, any of that stuff, any of that stuff, you will be gone. If the problem persists, if people keep making new accounts to try and get around getting kicked off, I'm just going to shut it down. You may not like that. I know it's not super fair to the people who will be there to, you know, not be terrible, but I don't have time for that crap. And I don't want anyone bringing that nonsense into what is effectively my house. So basic rules for the Discord server. Don't be a and yes, I understand and acknowledge that things like arguments and stuff can happen. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, you know, malicious intent, really terrible terms being thrown around, that kind of thing. Okay? Okay. So aside from the Discord thing, uh, I'm trying to keep this short because I've got takeout sitting like right down there and it smells delicious and I'm hungry because I just woke up and I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> Moving on. I have uh, made the, uh, I don't want to say super difficult choice, because it really isn't super difficult and it's not like a huge deal, but uh, I'm refocusing my collection a little bit, just just a little bit. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of slowing down on certain things and focusing more on other things. And it's not to say that I'm like going out of my way to grab stuff just to grab stuff. It's more like, unless something is super duper perfect, for me that I really, really, really want. I'm not going to be going for like any older Transformer figures or masterpieces or something like that. And I'm gonna be a little bit more open to things like uh, Sentai stuff and Tobots. That is not to say I won't be getting regular Transformers. I absolutely will. It's just I'm kind of shifting my priorities a little bit. I think I've just hit a point where I, I don't know, I kind of like the simpler and more tactile feel of some of the, uh, you know, some of this stuff. Still gonna run with the whole customizing focus of the channel thing, obviously. Um, I also kind of discovered there's a thing that I didn't know I really wanted to do that now I kind of do really want to do, and that is I want to take some of the figures that already appeal to me from the crappy line, uh, Cyberverse. <laughs> Which I think is an unfair label for Cyberverse, but uh, yeah, I know a lot of people don't feel super strongly about Cyberverse, and there are a couple of decent figures, blah blah blah. I kind of want to make it a personal challenge and goal to take figures that I already think are kind of cool from Cyberverse and customize them, and basically be like, look, I made it cool now. <laughs> I don't know, that may be presumptuous, that may be a fool's errand, so to speak, but... I just think it'd be a fun project. 
So yeah, uh, just slightly new focus for the collection, but again, it's it's not like I'm gonna stop. I'm still gonna be getting, you know, like Siege Astro Train is still high on my list. I'm still eyeballing a lot of Earthrise stuff. There's still some stuff that's uh, probably gonna be coming out soon in the third party world that I'm not going to be able to resist. Like say that uh, Unique Toys Last Night Megatron. So yeah, it's not just going to be like Sentai and Tobots. It's just like from an acquisition standpoint, that's where I'm going. And speaking of acquisitions, I have unfortunately opened the Irresistible Pandora's box that is Mugenbein. And I'm sorry if that kind of stuff annoys you, but what can I say? I I get it now. <laughs> it's kind of like Robot Lego. And I'm still pretty new at this. Like I've only, it's only been the past month or so that I've started getting into Mugenbein, but I've been stalking eBay. Like just, I have the page with like new listings on, like I have that, I have that tab open <laughs> in my browser at all times and I refresh it throughout the day and anytime anything new comes up that I want I jump on it not super responsible but uh, it's I got the bug plus it doesn't hurt that they're really not that expensive it's like you know I think the most I've paid for any one set was like maybe 30 bucks and that was like you know the bigger ones like Mugen Hercules yes I have Mugen Hercules I was really happy with that one up and I was able to snag it just in terms of things like, you know, being able to combine parts, I got uh, Junk Stag and Iron Beetle, and I was messing around with them, and it's like, you know, individually, I was kind of thinking, oh, I don't know, maybe I don't want to hang on to them, but the combined robot mode is pretty cool, and then I realized that this monstrosity exists. It's, uh, what is this? I think it's called, like, Mugen Mantis Double or something like that. This thing is just a mess, but it's like the kind of mess that I absolutely love. I love how these two sets, completely disparate parts, can come together to make this monstrous looking mantis thing. It's really cool. So yeah, um, that's the thing that I'm super into now, and I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna make the channel 100% about Mugen Vine or anything like that. I'm gonna sprinkle them in there, kind of like what I did with Tobots. And lastly, as we approach the end of 2019, I do have a couple of things planned. Uh, I finally, uh, if you follow me on Instagram or possibly Mastodon, my apologies if you follow me on Mastodon because I don't really, uh, I don't really watch my language <laughs> on Mastodon, but uh, I have been, over the course of almost three weeks, uh, panel lining Siege Jetfire. And the only reason it took me that long is because I was making myself, you know, I was pacing myself because the first day I did about half of the robot mode and gave myself a horrendous migraine that almost made me like physically ill. So uh, <laughs> I had to kind of pace myself after that. So uh, I didn't want to make myself sick doing it. So it took about three weeks. I finally finished panel lining Siege Jetfire and he looks great and there will be a video on him. I want to make sure to do a video on him before the year is over. I've also got one other thing that is going to be a surprise that is planned for the end of the year. It's a special thing. Um, it's probably not going to be super interesting to anyone who watches this channel because it's not a Transformer, it's not a Tobot, it's not any kind of transforming thing, it's not even really technically an action figure, but there's a lot of significance to it and I want to talk about it before the year's over. So that's going to be the last video of 2019. And then I've got my best of 2019 uh, acquisitions list. I've been kind of keeping a running list as the year goes on, bumping things off, putting things on. That video I'm hoping to have up on January 1st. We'll see how it goes because my work hours have been kind of weird. I won't get into it, but uh, if I can, I'm going to have that up for January 1st. Another thing is I want to, I've got a few more things in the mail, so I kind of want to give them time to come in and kind of figure out how I feel about them first before I finalize the list, but I will have to cut it off at some point, and we'll see where it ends up. So that is going to do it. My apologies if this took longer than intended. I don't know what it's gonna be once it's cut down. Right now it's been about 20 minutes of recording, and I said I was gonna keep it short because that food is still down here, and it's still tempting me, I'm still really hungry, <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff to talk about, and I am, let's say, wordy. But for now, that is it. And just one last reminder, since we covered it at the beginning of the video, Discord server, if you are interested in joining, link in the description. 
just don't be terrible because as I said, if you're terrible, you're getting kicked. And if too many people are terrible, then I'm just shutting the whole thing down. So don't ruin it for everybody else. Just be nice. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm hoping that the talk of shifting focus and stuff hasn't been too alarming because as I said, I am still gonna be talking about Transformers and third party figures and all that stuff. It's just, you know, it's gonna sprinkle a few more things in there every now and then. But thank you. Happy holidays to everyone who celebrates any holidays that might be happening this time of year. Happy New Year, and I will likely be seeing you all in 2020.